Okay, in part two of this video, we are going to rationalize the denominators. The goal when we rationalize is to get any root out of the denominators because to have a radical expression completely simplified, there are supposed to be no roots in the denominator. If you want to know why, look it up on the web. It's kind of a a uh, little bit of an ancient practice, I would say. Okay, we're going to use this rule, so we remember that from previously about dividing radicals. Um, and also remember that a square root times itself is the square root of x squared, which is x. This is a key part in what we're going to do here. Okay, so we start by doing um, the work we did in part one of the video, which was simplifying uh, the radical. Now this one, according to what we just did, is already um, needs to be simplified because the square root of 12 we know is the square root of 4 times the square root of 3 and that's 2 root 3 out of se over 7 sorry root 7 and we might think okay we're done but we're not because you can't leave a square root in the denominator so because we know that the square root of something times itself is the number itself, we can multiply this denominator by the square root of 7 because the square root of 7 times the square root of 7 is the square root of 49 which we know is 7, right? So we now have gotten the square root out of the denominator but we got to multiply the numerator if we're going to multiply the denominator by the square root of 7 we have to also multiply the numerator by the square root of 7 right because this whole thing is 1 that's what allows us to multiply by that so here you have 2 times the square root of 21 remember you, you, we also learned the rule that the square root of a times the square root of b is equal to the square root of ab multiplying radicals so that's the rule we're going to use there so here we have 2 times the square root of 21 all over 7 now be a little bit careful here because there's a temptation to divide 21 by 7 but we don't because 21 is in a square root sign and 7 isn't so they can't be divided okay so that's our final answer okay let's take a look at number two so at first glance number two seems like it's done it's simplified um, because you cannot simplify the square root of 6 and you cannot simplify the square root of 5 but it has a radical in the denominator so indeed we are not done we're going to multiply by the square root of 5 over the square root of 5 and we do that because we know the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is 5 right? square root of 25 is 5 and then in the numerator we have 3 times the square root of 6 times 5 so we've got 3 times the square root of 30 all over 5 and we're done again don't divide 30 by 5 because this is in a square root and this is not so this square root of 30 isn't really it's the square root of 30 but when you take the square root of it it's 5 point something or another so if you divided these you would have an incorrect you wouldn't have an equivalency here because this is really five point something. Okay? Okay, let's do number three. So on number three, again, the square roots can't be simplified. Six over twenty-four is one fourth, so we want to take care of that. Um, but we are going to multiply here by the square root of three over the square root of three because we don't want that radical in the denominator so I'm going to go ahead and simplify 6 over 24 so 5 times 3 is the square root of 15 6 over 24 is 1 over 4 and the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 9 so now I have the square root of 15 over 4 times 3 square root of 15 over 12 Okay. And once again, 12 and 15 have a common factor, but one of them is under square root and one of them isn't, so we can't divide those. Okay, let's take a look at number 4. 
So on number four, uh, we see a couple of things. This we know we can simplify. And in, in addition, 14, over 14 and 6 have a common factor of 2, and they're both in square roots. So before multiplying by the square root of 6 here, why don't I simplify this? Because if these, the smaller the numbers are, right, just the, typically the problem's a little bit easier. So instead of multiplying 14 times the square root of 6 and then simplifying, how about we simplify from the beginning? So in order to do that, I have 72 over 8, which is 9, so there's my 9. And then I'm going to put both square roots under one radical sign because I want to simplify them. So now I've got 9 and 14 over 6. If we divide both of these by 2, we get 7 over 3, right? So I did um, 7 times 2 over 3 times 2. That's what this is. I cancel the 2's and I've got 7 over 3. Okay, so I can't leave it this way though because this counts as a square root in the denominator. So I'm going to rewrite it as 9 root 7 over root 3. So now I'm back to rationalizing my denominator, meaning multiplying by a square root that will enable me to not have any roots in the denominator. So now I have 9 root 21, set root 7 times root 3 is root 21, all over the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 9, right? So we have 9 root 21 over 3, and then 9 divided by 3 is 3, so this is 3 root 21. Okay, that's our final answer there. Okay, last problem, number five. So on number five, um, as I look at this, I'm thinking uh, both of these have a factor of nine in them. So I could simplify the square root of 90 and simplify the square root of 27. But because they have a common factor in them, I'm going to rewrite this as as I did up here, one radical so that I can simplify first and then I'll deal with the rationalization. Okay, so this is equal to 6 times 90 is 9 times 10 and 27 is 9 times 3, right? The 9's cancel because 9 divided by 9 is 1. So now I've got 6 times the square root of 10 over 3. Okay, so you could do 10 divided by 3, but you get 3 and a third, and we don't typically leave our um, numbers under the radical sign as decimals. So I'm going to rewrite this down here as 6 root 10 over root 3. I could put the 6 with the root 10 either way. Okay, so now once again, I've got to rationalize this. So now I've got, I'm going to go ahead and put the 6 in the numerator. 6 times the square root of 30, all over 3. Once again, I've got a uh, simplification here that I can do. So I've got 2 root 30. So I'm going to stop now and think about whether um, 30 has any perfect square factors in it. It doesn't. It's 15 times 2. 2 times 3 times 5. No perfect squares. So I'm finished. Okay, that's a combination there of um, simplifying radicals with division and rationalizing the denominator.